Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. Do you have a go-to advisor? Do you have a go-to counselor? Do you have somebody in your life that you can receive advice or bounce plans off of? For those of you that have been successful in life, I would bet that you've been successful because you have people, advisors, counselors to listen to your plans and objectively offer pros and cons and clear-cut advice and even caution. Solomon writes in Proverbs 15, 22, plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Did you know that many, high, uh, many successful high school athletes who are going to play at the collegiate level are taught to not play for a school, but to play for a coach? See, to play for a coach that is going to give them advice, correct bad habits, and push them to do their best is better than playing just for a school. So who can you go to for advice? Who is your coach? As you're looking for a coach, I, I want to offer one caveat. Be very careful in regard to who you allow to invest in your life. As followers of Jesus, we should always pray diligently to find the right person to coach us. Worldly coaching and worldly counselors could actually hurt a followers of Jesus walk with God because their advice is not based on the word of God. Many coaches and counselors in the world will actually encourage selfishness. Selfishness for a believer because the world predominantly teaches a person to look out for themselves first. Now certainly we, could, we should take care of ourselves, but never at the expense of failing to seek God's kingdom first. So if you do not have a counselor, a coach, or an advisor for your work life, begin to pray and ask God to provide one for you. Maybe it's your employer, or maybe it's somebody from another business just like yours. Ask God to show you who you can ask for wise counsel and wise advice, then Seek to listen with ears wide open. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.